All right, so welcome back. And today we're gonna be taking this case and we're gonna be putting a computer in it. Yeah, it doesn't seem exciting because you put computers in cases, right? Well, this one is a compact Presario case and I kept the sticker and it was for the CQ5320YPC. It had an AMD Athlon X2. 240 dual core, came with Windows 7, 3 gigs of RAM, 500 gig hard drive, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sure back in his day, this was a somewhat decent computer. And just taking a look at it, I mean, it had, you know, PCI Express and I think that was PCI Express. Yeah, that's PCI Express. And a dial-up modem. Yeah. How lovely. And our power supply is this 250 watt, which really has no use in today's modern society but hey it's a 250 watt power supply so we're gonna get rid of this power supply we're gonna take this out this system actually does not work um, I think it fried but I kept the case and I've had this case for a while and I've always wanted to do something with it and I think I got the build for it so what I'm gonna do is of course we're gonna spray paint the inside of this black because I don't like this shiny silver I'm just not a fan of it so we'll probably spray paint the black maybe I'll change my mind maybe I'll keep it silver I don't know we'll see how this build goes and we're gonna do the front of this. So the front of this is this shiny material that, I mean, it's plastic, but I'm not a huge fan of this shiny look on it. Uh, and I do like the little silver accent over here and you know, your DVD drive, but if you don't use a DVD drive, at least it still hides pretty well. So we're gonna take this out. We're gonna repaint the front of this, give it a nicer, more matte black look. I think I have some paint for it. I'm pretty sure I have paint for it. And we'll give that a better look. Our airflow should be fine with this case for the simple fact that if you look at the side panel over here, I don't know how well this comes out, but yeah, we got decent airflow here, decent airflow here and there, so yeah, we definitely got some room for airflow. We could pop an 80 millimeter fan over here, and if we do get brave, we could probably pop in another fan over here as we do have airflow vents right over here, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. So let's take this panel off and let's just kind of get an idea of what we're looking at and see if we can do this one-handed. All right, so I probably can't do this one-handed. Maybe I can. Can I? Oh yeah, we can do it. All right. So this is our front panel case, and the only thing I'm really gonna do is just repaint it. Um, I really don't like this whole compact Presario. It's kind of scratched up over here, and okay, we get it, USB 2.0. We don't have to advertise about it. But taking a look at it, the front panel connectors seem to be Let's see if we can pull this over here. Yeah, these seem to be traditional front panel audio connectors and USB 2.0 connectors. So there's nothing fancy about this case. Like typically like Dell, and Lenovo, theirs are different and proprietary to their system. So we could definitely reuse these and we don't have to worry about modifying that right there. And if we want, we could put a DVD drive in there. And then I was taking a look at the front power button over here. Oops. Looking at the front power button over here, everything is just wired into this one connector. So we can depend these and um, make them independent so they could plug into the motherboard for the HD LED, the reset, power, power LED. So we can definitely still make this work as long as we trace them back to over here and what their corresponding button and LED is. So I think this is definitely plausible. And as you can see for our power button, it's red and black. So we could pull the red and black over here and just make our own little connectors for it. So yeah, I think this is gonna be feasible and we'll be able to put a computer in here. All right, let's go ahead. Let's start spray painting that. We'll start messing with these pin connectors over here and let's do this build. Let's see how it comes out. And I think this would be pretty cool. So here we are, we're done, we're back, and this is the front of our case, and this is how it looks. I decided to paint this little strip over here with silver, we went with the red. So we're going with a red and black theme, kind of changed this up a little bit last minute, and I think it's gonna go pretty good. It actually kind of reminds me of the old Mazdas, I think a Mazda 3 or 6 they had it, kind of looks like that color, but maybe we should call this the Mazda Ryzen, or Ryzen Mazda, I don't know, but still pretty cool. 
So that came out perfect. Happy with that. The front panel I.O. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up with tape, but we got our connectors ready. So we could definitely use our power button and power switch without having to do no crazy mods. So we'll clean this up pretty quick. And these, I'll probably wrap these up in tape to make them look a little cleaner for the aesthetic. So what are we doing for our build? So this is what we're popping in here. This, we got an Asus Tough Gaming. This is a MATX board, because that's what's gonna fit in this case. This is a B450, pretty good board. The CPU that we're gonna be using is a Ryzen, a Ryzen 2400G. Definitely like the CPU, pretty good. So, you know, this is a good, so definitely a good board. Good build, like it. Our Western Digital Hard Drive, one terabyte. These, you can get these for like five or $10 on the used market. And I typically go with used mechanical hard drives and I've never had any issues with them. So I definitely do recommend it. For our cooler, we're going with our stock AMD cooler, but we also added the little red accent over here and that's actually gonna give it a nice little look. So yeah, this works pretty good. And for the 2400G, this cooling is more than enough for it. So we shouldn't have no issues over there. We found a, a 92 millimeter, case fan for it and we went ahead and we spray painted that red i know some people have expressed current concerns in the comments about it and i'm actually doing a video so definitely stay tuned about spray painting cases and gpu shrouds and fans and we're going to talk about that and just to kind of give you a heads up what the key is prep work is key only one coat and make sure you have a good paint and primer so definitely have a specific video for that so stay tuned for that our graphics card, and this is what can kill or make a sale in a, in a build. And for this one, I went with this. This is an RX 560. I like these cards. They work pretty good. They're good for um, intro, budget gaming, good AAA title gamings. Um, you're not gonna get the great, latest and greatest. Usually, I found with this, like 1080p at low settings works pretty good. And if you do 720p, you can get some good set settings on it. So we this was initially a black shroud. And we went ahead and we just spray painted it that nice red and we kept the whole dragon look to it. So even though you won't see, it, it's gonna look like that, but still, I like the color aesthetic that we're going. For our boot drive, we're going M.2. A Data Ultimate SU 650 M.2 2280 with 3D NAND 120 gigs. These are going on Amazon for about $18. So that's what we're going to do. And it'll kind of give us more room in here instead of having to find a spot for a regular SSD that we would use. Our memory. All right. This is our memory that we're using. Rip Jaws, G Skill. These are 16 gigs. This is DDR 2400. I know, I know, I know. Ryzen likes. Um, higher frequency memory, but this uh, combined with this CPU actually works pretty good and it'll work. It'll definitely work and it'll be good for what we're doing. So this is our build. This is what we're going to do. Let's put it together in this case. Let's do some gaming, some benchmarks, and then we'll talk about this build, my suggestions, my critiques, and how much we think we could get for it. And if we were able to sell it, I don't think I'll be able to sell it before this video, but yeah, we'll definitely talk about all that stuff and everything. So let's go ahead. Let's build this computer. Let's show it off and we'll talk about it. build is done all right so let's recap on our build let's take a look at it compact presario case 
it was M MATX case, had like an Athlon 2 or whatever it was in it. And the case was actually not too bad of a looking case. It just need a little paint, a little upgrade, you know, a little, get rid of that whole shine and just add a little accent over here. And it wasn't proprietary in the sense that typically when I deal with these cases from uh, manufacturers like Dell, Lenovo, yada, 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 you can't use the front audio because they have the special pin out thing that they come up with. Plus you can't use the front USB for the same reasons and then you lose it or you have to spend the headache of depinning it or trying to make it work. Same thing with the power button. Usually they have these special connectors, special pins, you can't make them work. This was easy. This fit like a normal computer. This fit just like a normal computer pin out. And this, all I had to do was depin the little four, six pin block and we were able to make it work for this case. So Ryzen 2400G, 16 gigs of DDR4 2400, RRX 560, 500 watt power supply, uh, M.2 SSD, and a one terabyte hard disk uh, mechanical drive, Western Digital Blue, I think. Blue, yeah, black, blue. Yeah, it's the blue one. And that's what we got into it, okay? So let's talk about price. About $165, $170, give or take. That's what we're into this computer. And that's actually not too bad. And there's plenty of room for upgrade on it. If we wanted to, definitely this video card is the bottleneck in this system, obviously. And um, just kind of side note on that, on these builds, I have found lately that the video cards, because of the pricing and everything that's going on, has kind of hurt the profit margin and the budget. It is so hard to get a good deal on a video card now nowadays. I mean, it's possible, but not as easy as it used to be. And before you could get like a good 40 to $60 video card that was actually really good for the system that, in my opinion, was a good match for it, let's just say it that way, and really allowed good price to perform. This RX 560 is okay, but you know, ideally I would have liked to have like a GTX 960, uh, 970, or for that matter, an RX 570. But So why did we do this? Number one, we have parts and we need to sell them. That's number one. And number two, just wanted to show that just because this old case was outdated, thrown out and ready to go, we could bring it back to life and we could definitely make a good home for it. Not to mention, if you find a case like this that you could fit and retrofit and mod to a computer, this saves you a good chunk, maybe 30 to $50 on cases. You could get cases for about 30 to $40, but not to mention you gotta pay 10 to $15 on shipping. And this is US dollars, by the way. So this saves our budget and helps it in the sense that, you know, that's more profit, or you could give the customer a better price for builds that they want, so. 165, let's say 107, $170 computer. Very happy with it. These were all parts that were either thrown away or obtained from eBay and the Facebook marketplace. I know a lot of viewers have asked about my secrets and that video is definitely coming out soon. I'm actually gonna work on that shortly after I finish this and uh, we'll get that video out because there are some good ways to get some great deals on some of these used uh, parts that are out there. So definitely happy with this build. We're gonna put it up for sale on the Facebook marketplace. We'll see what we can get for it and um, definitely stay tuned. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and mostly Instagram. I don't do the Twitter thing, I haven't figured it out, but you can follow me on Instagram and I definitely post pictures of these builds as they're coming along and just updates on them. So if you definitely wanna see uh, how much this flipped for, the final look, some before and afters, definitely follow me on Instagram for that one and all that stuff. So definitely stay tuned for more builds, more guides, more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and we'll see what we come up with next.